The state of roads in the country remains a major concern, leaving motorists to rather bear the brunt. It seems the uh, outcries of residents at the stage are not being heard. And a woman died after her car plunged into a manhole in Nduzuma in Durban earlier on this year. Well, uh, government, are they taking these issues of our poor roads serious? That's the question we're begging this morning. And our reporter, Leti Wimdluli, is on the ground in Durban and joins us for more on this story. Leti, a very warm good morning to you. And uh, let's talk about uh, rather these issues uh, around road infrastructure and how they are negatively impacting on residents. Well, Dumelo, good morning. I am in Tuzuma um, at the bridge that was washed away by the floods back in 2022. And I've been speaking to residents here and they've been telling me how desperate they are um, to have a bridge that is built right, right here. I want to show you the state of this bridge. Um, the residents are saying that they do not know what is currently happening because this was actually um, supposed to be built last year, but the government has seemingly abandoned the project. They are also asking many questions regarding what is being built here because they asked for a bridge so that when the floods come back they are not affected. Um, but unfortunately they haven't seen much action taking place. This is close to two years now where residents are asking for the government to take charge and build a bridge for them. This road also connects um, major routes between Duzuma, um, Besta and Guamashu but unfortunately Unfortunately, a lot of motorists um, have to use alternative routes to try and make their way around the townships. I'm right now going to bring in a resident. I want to ask her about how they've been impacted by the fact that they haven't had a bridge for almost two years. Ma, thank you so much for joining us at ENCA. You know, Katkes Kuluman Jeman Jengenda by a bridge in Nama Flats, Nano Gutsege, Galasis Katsiku Figi in Vule in Kulu, Imizenia Yahamba, Nkalung Landis and Jogut, Ungab Nali Bridge Nom Guanko for all this time kun affect ka kanjani eh mtanam ngicela ukucela ukuthi mina ngizokuchelanje yabo lokumuka kwethu kwesithathu mina njengoba ngakhe khona eduze komfula angakhanga ngoba ngakhe eduze komfula ngoba eh ngingiyislima mhlambe ingqondo yami ngasebenzi lezi indawo lezi zina ma title u government wasinika ma title lokukhombisa ukuthi umgozi babungekho ngokwanda kwabantu Gwanda gwe 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 nda wezi mbawe na gwa 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 Base wanda no mfulu gwa mfulu wa mngani Ipreche la lakele la lakele mfulu mngani Njongo bangish kusi sogo gwe sato manje smoke Manje inte psungu Gia leli preche njoba limu silis libu la la banda banga katiko la gali futi na manje Kusti ili kusakiwa lele o preche li pant Lele preche lele esel fa wa masurechi la wa angata wa ma toilet Sti ili sazo smoke sa ngoba tina smoke iso amanza puma pezulu as as a smoke is a smoke is a man's as always a valley like preaching go by a preaching man in the lake and on full of man man in the ac kalila a second change they look to have them a transport says if never mutta chigales who was a hand is okay bail mean and joe bank shall let us go on full oh man i've been netting full for negative giving a now go by still exchange i in the shots and over look at here cooling your little good table sickly preaching pack aim Uza squa su kubel klal agu kula si zoya kon la ukwafmen tuas niga matai telango ba azu kutinda we safe agas niga ngango ba mshambi ebo nugu si uganja nukuti sasla lango ba kutinda we safe ngoba uzo sabu uzo muntu kuti ne ba na ba zeba sasla lango ngasi mfulin ka sasla niga matai telango kutinda we safe i preachi lingan manje mesego mesego pin the footsteps muk ilegan gaga singa gaza stats we nangani nanges tin nango cement nangani saka la pansi sae vusi mizu sogo nzenga ubano ngasla le hole mshambu Three months, four months. In Pilenja, I need to look at the wall. So I buy the size of the to size of the academies. Call na gunja alu. Na manje bo na labant asas no maba ko na nda labant abaki preach no maba la na in. Goba ugoba msa maba la na ngaba ba ya buzu kusungu esibzo ayuguti. Why buso le lili preach if it's in pants ganji. Goba le lili preach le lili lashawa ikonte na yazul. Ogne na nbebe ngakafuti preach. Elingo gwa azuguti mabe kamu ikonte na iha be futi ngapants inga pindi zopilis. Lenta ba ya kayo ai. I am going to bed. And now, man, you are going to take our hamping, which means you could find hamping in your own. Uchi, get lays, the more hamp, so gunje, and was a funu mutos of Peleze, a corner, a peshe, Uzu hamp, it will be safe. Gobagua corner, Loluta, this is over, and my best way as we see of me and my transport. Moyo Kibela, the Paya, no funis in Desi Plaza, Fneguela, Mongabu Kibela, my pass, Fneguela, Zela. I'm a text, I actually get lays.
Alright, I just want to explain to you what Umay is saying. She's basically saying that um, it's been close to two years without a bridge and they've been asking the government to um, build a much higher bridge because the bridge that they had before was very low. But unfortunately, with the construction that is currently taking place, they are also seeing that they are building a very low bridge, which is going to cause the same problems that they had when the floods of 2022 hit. Um, she is saying that they've been hit by the floods three times and every time they've had to rebuild and now they are asking government why they are also building a bridge that is very low that is going to cause the same problems she is saying that right now they are seeing that the construction is continuing but they've been wanting government officials to address the community um, as to why they are not listening to their cries because they are asking for a much higher bridge she also mentioned that this was the main road for three townships um, Guamashu, Besta and also some other sections in the area you'd also remember that in April, there was a woman who tried to drive through this um, this road. She didn't know that the road was washed away, and unfortunately, she lost her life. And this is when this issue came into. Um, we actually came to here. We visited this area and we reported on this issue because there was an uproar from the community saying that it was close to a year and the government hadn't built a bridge. Um, right now, as I'm actually reporting, there are security guards everywhere. Um, they don't want us to report on this matter. We've been asked to move away because they don't want the community to, the community to talk about their struggles and show what um, the bridge currently looks looks like almost two years after the floods well of course let you a quite a concerning issue and also uh, issues around censorship you know the, the community not being allowed to freely uh, express those grievances and I heard Umar narrating there that what else do they need to do to show the seriousness seriousness of this matter and to be heard as a community because it's two years on and that bridge is still not fixed claiming at least one life a woman who did not know that the bridge actually was not repaired and therefore drove through it and lost her life literally we leave it there for now colleague and we'll come back to you with more developments